feel very uh, unsafe. I mean, thinking that, you know, how, how do you know who to trust anymore to let into your house when you think it's somebody, you know, coming to uh, help you? Cheryl Killian lives at Kingston Residence. She felt completely violated after hospice nurse Bergen Pena came into her home just like this and went through all of her drawers. Killian met Pena when she was caring for her husband and says she was suspicious. I had a bad feeling about her that we didn't want her to come anymore because she just seemed to uh, want to get into the house uh, to look around. Police say the woman in this surveillance video is Pena. You can see her entering the building on her day off, dressed in scrubs and acting like she's signing in. She gets into an elevator, exits and makes her way into unlocked rooms one after another. Police say she took jewelry and cash. And what detectives find to be most disturbing, they say Penna stole prescription drugs, leaving patients without their much needed medication. There were at least eight victims. Pena was arrested and is now facing charges of burglary and exploitation. She's out on bond and fired by Presbyterian Medical Services. Now Killian says she is going to take precautions to secure her home. Now I make sure that my door is never unlocked. And she hopes her neighbors do the same. In Santa Fe, Lita Alicani, Action 7 News.